So the Walgan River flows directly into the Wollamai National Park. And Wollamai National Park is part of the Greater Blue Mountains World Heritage Area, which is a million hectares of uh, internationally protected bushland just outside of Sydney. So today we've got a bunch of young volunteers here um, who have come in to help uh, the Friends of the Colo Land Care Group um, and also the Central Tablelands Local Land Service. So we're working along the beautiful uh, Walgan River that you can see here um, and knocking those weeds out. So the idea is to you know, prevent the spread of those weeds down the river um, and you know, to preserve the um, biodiversity in that region. What I really love about days like today is, is it's just a great opportunity to get out in the bush. Um, it's a great opportunity to do something uh, to help the bush. So having a group of young people here is fantastic. Um, with Landcare, you know, there, there are hundreds of groups um, around the country and it's great to have a succession, you know. So getting these young people involved now um, and networking and, you know, telling their friends um, and families and things like that is fantastic, giving them that opportunity um, to do that and also an adventure. It's, it's really great to see them, them learning, them, them being in the bush and them actually contributing and giving back to the bush. Today has been really exciting, getting to learn the techniques that experienced volunteers use to manage weeds, the right techniques on how to manage weeds, um, and also the importance of managing the weeds because they can easily spread throughout the national parks. So the Living on the Edge project is a, a five-year um, national land care program project. Uh, so it's, it's funded through the Australian government. Um, and we've been working for a number of years now uh, with, a, with another volunteer group called the, the Friends of the Colo. And the Friends of the Colo work primarily within the World Heritage Area to manage weeds. Um, but through that connection, through that collaboration, we've also managed to, to join up with Greater Sydney Land Care uh, to bring uh, young, young adults up from Sydney. You know, and young people have a lot to bring. You know, they're motivated, um, a lot of them are, are studying, um, so they've got that experience, um, you know, through their studies and things like that. So it's good for them to get that practical experience here as well, as well as to build those networks. Friends of the Colo are a bunch of volunteers. We're all experienced bushwalkers or recreational paddlers. Some have a range of other skills, a lot of other skills, in fact, and we have dedicated ourselves to removing landscape transforming weeds from within the National Park and on the edges of the National Park, so that there's a buffer zone. You need to remember that volunteers need to enjoy themselves. You're not going to have volunteers if they have a terrible time or don't have fun or don't enjoy each other's company. So yes, enjoyment is part of the program. You know, they're going to be able to have this experience of going for a walk in the environment that we're working in. And so that's fantastic. So they can really see, um, you know, why we're doing the work that we do um, and really appreciate the environment that they're in. You know, you get to mix with um, national parks, local land services, you know, experts in the field and learn a lot from them, um, as well as, you know, a whole range of other members of the public and develop those networks. Um, you know, if you're, if you're young and studying, um, you can gain a lot of experience, um, you know, which will help you, you know, progress um, your studies in the future. Um, yeah, and it's just generally a fun way to get out of the house um, and help improve the environment. It's a great opportunity to meet like-minded people and to also give back to your community and bush care as it will have a great impact in the future.